evening and, and welcome to this initial um, session on five a day fun way. I don't know how you feel about it, but you think about five a day, you think, oh, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, here we go. And it can be much more exciting than that. You can look at exotic things in the supermarket or in, in your local um, health store and you think, actually, I'd quite like to know how to cook that and what to do with it. And is it actually part of my five a day? Well, this course is going to tell you all about that. And hopefully, after this first 20 minutes, you're going to say, yep, we're going to sign up and come on the six-week session. And by the end of it, you will know 35 new, hopefully new to you, exotic fruits and veg. That is <coughs> seven days' worth. So even if you just use those, you'd have every week something different than sprouts and cabbage. Um, I was contacted by an elderly gentleman who was told, lose three stone or die. And it concentrates your mind a little bit. And after about three months, he phoned me up and he said, I don't know what we're doing wrong. So I said, why? He said, you can't eat healthier than June and I. So I said, OK, well, what are you eating? He said, take last night, for instance. He said, we sat there and we looked at our dinner plate and we had 14 different vegetables on there. How much more healthy than that can you be? And I said, 14? He said, yes. He said, that wasn't counted with potatoes, which are a part of it. Because potatoes have got starch and they don't count as part of it. So what I thought we'd do this evening, first of all, in the groups, if between you, you can actually write down 14 different vegetables. It can't be fruit. It's got to be vegetables. Vegetables that can be cooked not potatoes, um, so that counts out any salads, because I mean, celery you can cook, I know, but... And you've got to bear in mind they're an elderly couple who wouldn't be um, that inventive or daring in what they bought. So, the next couple of minutes, if you just sort of try between you, <coughs> just one marker colour, because then afterwards we're going to do something else with the other marker colour. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't matter about spelling. It's not a spelling bee. Just sort of like guess at them. Because I think they deliberately made vegetables difficult to smell. To spell. To spell. To spell. To And then by the end of it, hopefully, yeah. we may have you know twenty or thirty items each. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So John, start your first item. We've got broccoli. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your first one? Cabbage. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> um, we've got carrots. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Sweet corn. Yeah. Uh, peas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, broad beans. 
beans. Yes, yeah, we've got the same. Yeah. <laughs> we've got runner beans. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> runner beans. <laughs> Sorry? French beans. French beans. No, we didn't get French beans. <laughs> yeah, French beans. Mm -hmm. A snap peas? No, we didn't get one. Mm -hmm. Asparagus. Oh, oh no. good. Very much on this side. Um, broth, uh, broth, cauliflower. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've got sweet corn. Yeah. We've done sweet corn, yeah. yeah. Uh, we've then got cabbage. Yeah, yeah. cabbage. Yeah. Sprouts. Sprouts. Yeah. We've got that. <laughs> yeah. um, I can't read that one. Cauliflower. Yeah. Cauliflower. Yeah. And uh, parsnips. Oh, I love parsnips. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sweet. Roasted. No, we didn't oh. get sweet. Do you want another one? Yeah, come yeah. on then. Turn it. Turn it. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, we've, I thought of my one peppers. Peppers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've forgotten about it before, but I put down some of Exercise where you can do it on your own in pairs as a group, whatever. And basically, it's going to be filling out these worksheets mm -hmm. with those three items over there. <coughs> they may be familiar. I've chosen ones which are pretty ordinary. Um, got a slight modern feel to them, I suppose. Um, I'll put some gloves down there in case you are allergic to vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know my partner is. Um, so if you'd like to go over and have a look and try and, and identify what they are. Yeah. <laughs> then it's 
That looks like the bridge, doesn't it? What, what is it number? Or C. 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 Asia. That's not English, that's not UK. Well, it must be. That's not confusing. You put the other ones, you're going to be putting under B, aren't you? It doesn't look English. But do you know what? This what will come out of this? I know. It's, it's all things you get in the back of That, yeah, root. 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 Yeah. So that would come up yeah. as a surface. Yeah. Yeah. Or is that one that we're going to point to time? I'd say that. It's steamy. Yeah. 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 Chinese and Thai. Chop um, them up, mix them up, get some excitement into them. And make sure you've got 80 grams of it. <laughs> okay, what about number two? Our little friend here with the face. And, uh, <laughs> it. it was it was actually not as strappy as this when I bought it. <laughs> so no, it's not it's not a turnip, but that is a, a common name for it. So again, it's a vegetable. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Anybody want to have a 
Yeah. It comes from Germany originally, um, but it comes from that area. So you totally, if you imagine the northern part of Europe, it grows in that bit. You can eat the leaves and the bowl. Um, you wouldn't really want to eat that um, as it is, but if you've got it fresh, then that is actually quite nice and quite spinachy. This can be cut up and used as you would do with any sort of turnip or, or sweet. Or you can actually grate it and use it in a stir fry. Um, again, it comes with you know, stir fry things and that, that sort of. <coughs> and the last one, our little, our little friend, <laughs> Eric. <laughs> into something with some, as it says there, with some Cajun spice. Mm -hmm. You can make it, it's like, it's like a bulk you would put in with um, a soup or a stew. It would, it would just bulk it up and give it some texture. But you're getting one you five a day. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing with, with this, it's sort of very nice, isn't it? You go to the supermarket and you buy this sort of stuff. But you can also grow it yourself. I've actually got a handout for you with all this information on. But I just brought two of them in. I, I must be honest, I couldn't find anything for that one. But you can go to your local gold centres and get them. This one grows simply. You just sprinkle it out um, and you can basically get it from, it says sow it between March and September and you can harvest it within six to eight weeks. So even if you only had a windowsill, you didn't have a garden, you could start growing this yourself and just basically do it over a few months and you'd have fresh greens almost for free. I mean, it's a one pound 45. This one's a little bit harder to grow because you actually have to grow it in situ. So you wouldn't, um, if, you, if you put your seeds in, you would then have to just thin them out, but leave it in situ, or it just will die on you. But that way, you would get lovely fresh green there, which you could eat. Mm -hmm. And this <coughs> this lasts about a month, I suppose, in your fridge. So you could keep hacking away at it if you wanted to, but you could eat it in one go. So it's not more than eighty grams. <laughs> now, this is this is what we're going to be doing over the six weeks. Is this sort of thing. At the first, the first session will be these three veg plus another five to have a look at. We look at it more thoroughly, um, more discussion about the recipes and things like that and what you can actually do with your, your veg. So if you want to join the group, let me know at the end and we'll sign you up and you can come along and have some fun time. And some, some of the vegetable does get more exotic weeks go on, but we did it very simply this evening. Okay, so I'll just give you out a handout, just to whet your appetites and excite you more. And, and that is it. Thank you. The last, the last um, thing of the six weeks will be actually cooking all the different things. <coughs> so you have 35 vegetables and fruits. Read that right. A big bowl. A very big bowl. <laughs>